Hey, Kiana. Good morning and welcome to a super fantastic sparkling tune up Tuesday. It's that day of the week where we tune up our business, tune up our mindset, just make those little tweaks and changes to make our lives a little easier, a little more successful. Um, Today, if for us, is moving day. So we have, the RV is basically packed up. I just got to put the dishes away. Um, and um, then I can't do anything until after 9 o'clock to be escorted to my new site. So as soon as we finish this call, we haven't yet, but as soon as we finish this call, we're going to hop in the car, take the car over to the new site, park it there, go for our walk, come back, and um, finish with the little things inside that still need to be done, like the laptop being put away and, and just making everything ready for travel. We're not going far and we won't be going fast, but still you've got to secure things so they don't go flying around because you never know, there could be a sudden stop you have to do and you don't want things going flying. So we've got to secure everything as normal. But today is Tune Up Tuesday, woohoo! So we've got eight Tune Ups for the mind. Are you ready? Let's get going. Number one is self-awareness. Be aware of who you are. What are your thoughts? What are your feelings? Where are they coming from? What is triggering them? Be self-aware. Number two is acceptance. Accept who you are, flaws and all. And when you accept who you are, flaws and all, it gives you a starting place that you want to make in your life. To be self-aware of, you know, your thoughts and feelings, accept who you are, flaws and all, and um, because that gives you a basis, that gives you your starting place. Pay, and then number three, attention. Pay attention to the now. Be present in the moment. When you are with somebody, give them your attention. You know, they're on the Zoom call and you're over here doing this on your phone. No, 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 no. When you are with somebody else, you turn the phone off, Unless you know that there's going to be a call coming through and you let them know, hey, I hate to do this to you, but I don't, you know, explain to them up front, look, we can either reschedule this or I do have a call that I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on some news from family. We've got somebody in hospital, whatever it is. So prepare them for that. Not just I'm waiting for a call to see if I've got, if I've closed a sale. That but be present. When you are present, amazing things happen. And believe me, you can tell if somebody is not present, try and fool them. You can do that. So be present. Be in the now. Be 100% present for that person. You know, they've taken time out of their schedule to spend time with you on a It could be they're hearing your sales pitch. It could be that you're hearing their sales pitch. At least give them the courtesy to be present with them rather than, you know, looking at everything that's going on around you. Yes, I know there's times my dog distracts me because she does suddenly just decides to go crazy and do crazy things. And that can't be helped. I don't have space. Um, but I just let people know, I let, try to let people know, you know, I may get distracted by the dog. <laughs> but that also gives us a common ground because they may have a dog or a cat that distracts them just as well. Um, so self-awareness, um, acceptance, attention, creativity. Do you have time? writing, whether it is painting, it could be drawing, it could be um, working on puzzles, it could be um, sewing something, it could be designing something. Um, there's a lot of ways that it could be with music. There's a lot of ways that you can spark your creativity that are not work related. Um, I love to do, I have a lot of things I love to do. I love doing puzzles. And I don't care if it's a jigsaw puzzle, if it's the logic puzzles, if it's a crossword puzzle, um, I love puzzles, period. You know, genealogy, I love puzzles, period. I'm a puzzle girl. That's one of my favorite things to do. I also love to sew. I have the space. Um, but I can't wait until I can get that opportunity to get back behind my sewing machine and do some sewing. They actually have a sewing room here at this campground because they um, have a quilting group. I'm not a quilter. I do not have the patience for quilting. Uh, uh I do not have the patience for quilting. That that takes a lot of creativity, a lot of patience, a lot of skill, and I have no patience when it comes to. It. I probably have the skill level. Um, 
completely new skill to learn and I probably have um, the creativity to do it. I just don't have the patience to do it. Um, you know, so know your limits, push them a little bit if you want to. Number five, permission. Give yourself permission to let go. Let go of the things that are holding you back. Give yourself permission to do it. To let go, step out of the shadow of whatever become the incredible, amazing person that you are intended to be. And yes, you may already be there, but you can shine a little brighter. Everybody can shine a little brighter. Um, number six, meditate. And it could be simple, you know, some people want to pray, some people want to sit, you know, sit in silence and just visualization and all of that. I just like to sit and breathe. You've heard me, on my phone, I have a thing called Calm, an app called Calm, and they have this little breathing thing, and they actually now have three breathing options. There's the relaxation, there's the energy, and I can't remember what the third one is. I think it might just be breathing. But you can actually, it has a little, it has a wheel, and you follow this little dot around, and the little dot goes one color with one tone for when you breathe in. If you have to hold, it has a different tone, and then it has another tone to release. And based one is as to how long the intervals are with the intake of the breath, the hold and the release of the breath. Um, meditate because it brings your focus, if you're doing something like that time and you're watching that little that little ball go around the little wheel thing um, and you're doing that, you're in a medit you get yourself into a meditative state. There's a lot of creativity that will come out from that time. Number um, eight, me, me, schedule me time to pamper yourself, to take care of yourself. You know, if you need to get time to relax, take a nap, um, go get a manicure, a pedicure, um, just to get out of the house, go for a drive, go for a walk, do some exercise, schedule that me time into your calendar, whatever it is, schedule it in, you know, go sit out in the garage and fix the car. Um, I know some people like to get in the garage and get their hands dirty. Go for it. I have been in the garage and got my hands dirty. I know how to do certain things on engines. It's been a while, but I'm probably sure I can pick it back up again. Um, and number eight, the last one is gratitude. Always, always, always come from a place of gratitude. Whatever situation you find yourself in, be thankful. Be thankful for the situation that you are in in that time because you know there's going to be some great lessons that are going to come out of it. You know that it is going to help a better person. Um, we're always looking to improve ourselves. We will never, ever, 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 ever be perfect. But we can give it a damn good go. <laughs> we can get out there. We can be as perfect as we want to be. We will never be perfect. We all have flaws. I have a ton of them. Myself laughing at them. Myself getting upset with some of them. But then I have to go back and give myself permission to let go. And to accept who I am for what I am. And let everything go. Knowing that nothing is going to be perfect. Nothing is ever going to go as planned. Well, not nothing. Most things are probably not going to go as planned. Make plans. You know, when you make plans, things happen, and that's just that's just life. That's just the way it is. So you just got to accept it, let, and give yourself permission to let go, and just go with the flow. So that's it from me for today, for this morning, for our Tune Up Tuesday, eight Tune Ups for the mindset, which is be self-aware, accept yourself for who you are, to the now. Um, be creative, permission to let go, meditate even if it's just sitting down and breathing, um, find time, me time and to, to pamper yourself in your schedule, and the last will always come from a place of gratitude. So those are the eight tune-ups for the mind today. Have a super fantastic sparkling day, and we will catch you guys later today. From even though we will have a different outlook out the window. We're going to have, yeah, we've got east on the passenger side right now by 10 o'clock, we will have east on the driver's side. We're doing a 180 degree flip to the new place. But anyway, have a super fantastic sparkling day, and we'll catch you guys. Okay, Conera.